I've marked out where I've got to drill the holes for the clamp bolts and the spindle hole for the uh, dial gauge. Um, I've done it so it can be left or right handed for me because I'm left handed and obviously most people are right handed so I've done it to uh, sort of an ambidextrous version. One thing I have noticed with this when I put the boring head in on my boring head the adjuster screw comes through the back so you lose as that that hits if I assemble that in the right way that hits there at the back um, if you come that far over so what I may have to do with mine is just mill a little, little slot in there I could put a, just a hole a location hole but if I mill a slot down the back there then um, it doesn't matter where this is in relation to uh, to the head itself um, if we wind that back in I'm working around the camera tripod just clear or obviously if you go the other way but I tend to prefer to go that way with my uh, adjustment so that uh, that there is fine and that gives me how much travel of wind until that will lock itself just there so that screw is just inside now and it's it's holding it um, So what I, what I say, it's, that's probably the ideal position for it, but I'm going to go up and down a little bit if I need to. Um, what else is there? As Mr. Pete mentioned, there's enough room, I think, on mine to be able to get the full amount of travel you dare want to go with this. Um, there at worst, I can machine a little bit of that out. Uh, I may just straighten that up actually well it's it's in there i'll get the holes popped in there first and then uh, see where we go so that's had a little bit of a clean up i did have to um work on this bore a little bit the the head fitted okay with that piece in as soon as i took that out it closed up quite a lot uh, so that's something to take into account um i ended up just getting a flat wheel in there and just taking a little bit off and say okay I've said it many times we cast it isn't brilliant but it'll do for this job uh, so let's get it uh, let's get it drilled and tapped I'm going to use some I've got some brass um, M6 thumb screws there we just need shortening slightly for that and shortening for the uh, the spindle clamp um, I've got some smaller ones, but they're plated, so I was a bit worried about them might be a bit too hard where you're pushing into the uh, the spindle body. And some are M4, which is probably a little bit too too small and puts too too much pressure at one point on the um, on the spindle the, the the dial gauge spindle tube. Get this set up for drilling for the tap holes in the sides there. All I've got it is uh, set up in the vice, overhanging quite a lot. I know, but we're only doing one M6 tap hole, and just lined up on my uh, my marked lines with a, a with a square. I'll just drill and tap that. I'll just control this on the variable speed.
and the same the other side I won't film that one set up now vertical in the vise for drilling the hole for the spindle of the, uh, the dial gauge just set up vertical there and vertical in my uh, my line there I'll just get a centre drill hole in there In my case I've transferred the line round so I'm drilling from the outside. I think Mr Pete drilled from the other side with a longer drill if, uh, if I remember correctly. Now I'll just take the size now, well just undersize and then find a, an 8mm reamer. Um, the, sha the shanks on our dial gauges tend to be more 8mm, 8 8mm eight than um, the American ones which are more common at 3 8 so this will be 8mm uh, for hours. I've put a 5mm hole through there already, uh, just going through the 7.7 slightly under 8mm uh, that drilled close to size I'll uh, finish off with a machine reamer to 8 millimeters. Get this out and see if our uh, stem fits in. Go okay, try it with this gauge. Snug, beautiful. That'll do. I'll get the uh, other hole drilled there now and tapped for the lock screw. All I should do for this one is drill straight through past the spindle hole and I'll do the same for the tapping. Same again with the tapping, just under spindle, uh, with speed control. I'm not sure whether it's going to mech, mech it through both sides, we'll see. I'm kind of struggling here with um, a milling cutter long enough without going too wide. So. Uh, that was 12 millimeter one. I so will give that a go. Four fluter. I'll just put a groove across there. Tripods in the way. So I'll just hand feed in this. Okay. And I want to be about 
eight millimetres deep with this groove that'll give me sufficient clearance. There we have it. I'm working around the camera again here. Uh, there's the milled groove to allow for the adjuster screw to uh, come out a little bit further. That puts the centre hole over that side, um, whereas normally that hole's over that side. So that's that's probably about the maximum travel. I would have liked to have gone a bit deeper with that, but I'm on a milling cutter. That sort of width long enough to do it. Uh, but if that becomes a problem in the future, we could always make a modification. The same here. There's enough material on there. If there's uh, if there's a problem with uh, with width or capacity, I'll uh, get the grub screws, the the knurled nuts, knurled screws. Get it right in a minute. The knurled screws and set it up on the uh, on the mill and take a, a look at it. This will slip over there nicely and clamp down. I'll get a dial gauge set up and uh, see what it looks like. There we are with it finished and fitted. Uh, I've put a metric dial gauge on at the moment that's got uh, a long enough stem to reach. I'll uh, uh, said at the beginning of the project, I've got that nice Swiss one to look at and repair. And uh, ultimately, I think we'll have that one on. But now with a, a mallet key in there, I can adjust that really well under control and back off as well under control okay, without having to look at that uh, that little dial at the front there so yeah a couple of little diff detail differences from the criterion one maybe but uh, very very similar they are put to uh, Two screw fasteners, probably not needed. You can just use one, um, and I can also put the uh, the one for the whole indicator in the other side if I want to. So yeah, that'll be a really useful addition. I really will. Um, thanks to uh, to Mr. Pete for his uh, brilliant bit of work in designing it and. Um, it was a, a good project, say first casting I've done and worked on properly, um, reasonably successful, I'm sure it'll get better. Um, that's it for now and uh, I'm sure you'll be seeing this one in future videos. Thanks for watching, please uh, subscribe, hit the like button, put your comments in and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye then.